So in this video, we're going to go through labs 11A and B. If you go into 11A, you can see that we're going to create a calculator, a program which takes a user's height in meters and their weight in kilograms, and it calculates what the body mass index is, which is a unit of you know, fat measurement. Are you normal weight? Are you underweight? Are you overweight? And so on. Um, in this particular program, all it's going to do is calculate what the value is, what the BMI is. In the second lab, in lab 11B, then we're going to take that one step further and we're going to use um, what's known as a decision control structure in order to determine what category do they fall into. But for now, all we want to do is create this very basic program. So if you go into Write PHP Online, the first thing that we're going to do is create three variables. The first variable is going to be used to hold the user's weight in kilograms. And we're just going to program it in, and I'm going to put in the value 60. I'm then going to create my second variable, which is going to be used to hold the height. And then the third variable is going to be used to hold the results of the calculation. Um, and the calculation, it's very straightforward. Um, it's simply the weight divided by the height divided by the height. So weight divided by height squared. So we're going to call the kilograms variable. We're going to divide that by the height. And then we're going to divide it by the height again. Semicolon use the print statement to output the BMI. And if we click on run code, you can see the value down here. If you don't like the fact that we have a very long decimal, and I don't particularly like that, what we can do is go back up to line five and we can convert it to an integer data type. And so on this time when we click on run code, a little bit more neat. Okay, so what you can do is copy and paste this code into lab 11a, um, and then we're going to go into 11b, and 11b is going to keep those first three lines of code, but then it's going to output which classification the user falls into. So if we go back, we're going to delete this line. Okay, so we're keeping everything from the first three lines, getting rid of the print output. And we're going to go straight into our decision statement. So we're going to start off with if, we're then going to provide parameters, and we're going to provide the condition, which in this case is, is the BMI less than 18.5? Oops, let's try using the right symbols. Less than 18.5 close your parameters um, and then no semicolon because we haven't reached the end of the statement. So what comes next is an opening curly brace. When you press enter, it's going to automatically indent. That's fine. Keep that. We need that. We're then going to use a print statement. We're going to use double quotation marks because we're going to be calling the BMI variable. Um, and we're going to say your BMI is and then just like we did before, call the BMI variable. Um, and then, as we can see, if they are less than 18.5 BMI, they're going to fall into the underweight classification. Okay, so we would simply put, you are underweight. Full stop, close your quotation marks, close your, pro, close your semicolon, um, and then close the curly brace. And you can close the curly brace either on that line or you can press enter and move it down to the next line. And at the moment, if we run the code, we won't see anything um, because we're not in the underweight category. But if I change this to something ridiculous like 10 and click on it again, you can see that this time we are getting an output because at this point we meet that first condition. Um, one thing I don't like is the fact that we have a long decimal number. Um, so before we use the int data type to convert it, what we're going to do here is something slightly different um, because we don't want to keep on having to do it. I'm going to go up to line three and I'm going to use what's known as the round function. And when you use the round function, you simply type in the word 
and then the value, or in this case the calculation, is going to be put inside brackets. And this time when we run code, you can see that we have a much neater output. So that was the first part of the control structure. The second part is that we want to have what's known as an else if statement. If you only have two possibilities, you can simply use an if else statement, but a lot of the time you will have more than two possibilities, more than two conditions. And so in that case, you have to use this else if. Um, and in this case, the condition is slightly more complex because what we want to do is find out is it greater than um, is it greater than or equal to 18.5 and is it less than 24.9 and so I'm going to do the first part first which always makes sense I'm going to have BMI more than or equal to 18.5 and then I'm going to type in the word and and you can see as I type it in it comes up in purple this is the key word you can use this um, and we are going to then ask is it less than 24.9? So remember, if we use the AND, it has to meet both of these requirements. So at this point, we're going to put it in our closing, or our opening rather, curly brace. We're going to go down to the next line. Again, it will be indented. And we are going to do exactly the same as previously with regards to the first sentence. But this time, they fall into the normal weight category. So I'll just put your normal weight. Oops, don't forget the full stop. Okay. And again, if you want to test this, I'm not quite sure when we're going to be normal weight. Let's try 60 again. I feel like that should be. Oh, and don't forget your closing curly brace. All right, so we'll come up with a syntax error. Okay, so maybe not 60. Um, should go higher or let's try 70 and see if that works. No, let's try 50. Maybe we're going too high. Okay, I was going too high. It should have been lower. Okay, so we can see now that our second category also works. We're going to do our second else if. And this time we want to find out is it between 25 and 29.9. Okay, so same syntax as before, else if, open your bracket, name the variable, and we want to say if it's over or equal to 25, and if it is less than 34.9, and obviously there's a few ways that you could do this, um, but you might as well do it this way. Close your brackets, open your curly brace, press enter, let's do our third statement, and we're just going to say, um, same as before, your BMI is called the BMI variable, you are overweight, I'm not sure if it's one word or two, I'm going to put it as two, as one word rather, you are overweight, and then semicolon, and close your curly brace, and it's a good idea to test it as you go along, because it will make your life easier, um, in identifying, okay, and you can see this has changed now to the overweight category, um, it will make your life easier if you find the problem sooner and you have less code to look at. Okay, so we've had an if statement, we've had two else ifs, and then finally, because we only have four categories, um, we're going to use the keyword else. And after else, you do not include any condition. Else covers everything which has not already been covered. And so all we're going to have here is the opening curly brace. We're going to press enter and we're going to print out, same as before, your BMI is BMI, you are obese. And semicolon and close your curly brace. Okay, so when you use else, you will never type a condition. Okay, you've already covered your three conditions. If it's not less than 18.5, if it's not between these values, then we know it has to be 35 or over. Okay, and let's change this up just to test it. So let's put it as 70. Click on run code. 
Oh, that's the overweight one. Let's change it up to 80. And then let's see if it comes back with the obese category, which it does. Okay. Um, and at this point, you may want to add in comments to explain what's happening. Um, so this is your first use of if, else, if, else. Um, you can have as many else ifs as you need. Okay, so if you have lots and lots of conditions, you will have lots and lots of these. You are only going to have one if statement and one else statement. Okay, so go ahead, copy and paste this and upload it.